and welcome back to the YouTube channel all about me, JK's Magician and Children's Entertainer. And welcome to another mini-series. This mini-series is all going to be about balloon modelling. All these balloons require one balloon to make and they're going to be really easy. And these are balloons that I use for a thing called line work. Now line work basically means when I'm at an event, I make these balloons for everybody. There's lots of different options and I'll be teaching you most of the options that I give out to all the children at these events. So let's find out what we'll be learning about today. In today's video, unfortunately, we're not gonna be learning any models. I'm gonna teach you the basics of balloon modeling. The balloons that I use are these. These are called 260 balloons. And I'll explain why they're called 260s in a few moments. Now this brand is called Qualitex. It's my favorite brand, but there are other brands available. I will leave a link down below where you can purchase Qualitex balloons from. I buy mine in bags of 250. That's how many balloons I go through. And I'll normally buy a thousand at a time. But if you go into any toy shop, normally they have bags of modeling balloons in there. Now the reason why they're called 260s are, is because when they're fully inflated, they are 60 inches long and two inches in diameter. This here is the nozzle of the balloon and this here is the body. And when you blow your balloon up, you always want to leave a tail. The reason why you want to leave a tail is as you're twisting the balloon, the air will work its way up the balloon. And if it's got nowhere to go, the balloon will pop. But I'll let you know how long a tail you need to leave. I always measure my balloons in fingers. So like a one finger bubble, a two finger bubble, a three finger bubble, a four finger bubble. And you can see here, this is roughly a five finger tail. There's five fingers there. If you do need to leave a hand's width, you stretch your hand out nice and wide and it goes from that point there to that point there. And of course, 10 finger bubble, you place two hands on and then you twist it at that point. So to do a twist, just grab yourself a balloon and I always rotate my left hand backwards and my right hand forwards. And then I twist the right part round. You need to do this at least four times. So that way, when you move on, it shouldn't come undone. Now, so that is a basic twist. Now, a one finger bubble, what you do is you place one finger on the balloon and twist at that point where the one finger ends. Now, I don't need to measure because I roughly know how big that is. Then a two finger bubble is that the same process. Twist two fingers just there. Three finger bubble, exactly the same process. Three fingers and a four finger bubble, same process, you'd twist where the four fingers end. So that's how we measure the balloons. I'll, when we go into more details on the models in later videos, I'll explain exactly how many fingers you need. We're going to need to do something called a pinch twist in one of the more advanced models. Now, a pinch twist, that basically makes the balloon go at 90 degrees. To do a pinch twist, you twist the balloon. You then do roughly a two finger bubble like this. And you want to twist this twist here into this twist here the easiest way. Fold it over, pull the balloon up, and give the balloon a twist. So once again, fold it over, take the middle section, pull this, and give it a twist. And that creates a pinch twist, or an ear twist it's sometimes called, but I like to call mine a pinch twist. And as you can see, that makes the balloon go in a 90 degree position. So the same model where we're going to require the pinch twist, we are going to need a fold twist. Now a fold twist, basically, you're gonna fold the balloon over and give it a twist, and that creates this loop just here. Now the way we measure these is, this is roughly a five finger fold twist. And we know it's five fingers, because when you place my hand there, that is roughly five fingers across. So that is basically all the twists that we need to know for the models coming up later in this series. So that does bring us to the end of this first tutorial on balloon modelling. Tune in next week where we're going to be learning one design and that is a basic sort. So grab yourself a pack of balloons and a balloon modelling pump and tune in next week, 11 o'clock every Friday. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss an upload. Share this video amongst your friends. Visit my Facebook page, JK's Magician and Children's Entertainer. Give the page a like, keep up to date with me that way. And of course, if you like more details on what I offer, please feel free to visit my website, which is www.jkmagician.co.uk. Until next week, have a magical one. Yeah.